Hey everyone, well I'm back with another video and for the first of many monthly videos where I can share and let you all know the latest video games that I've been checking out, also the pastime games that I've returned to or never played before. But this also gives you a chance to have your say as I'd love to know what video games you've been checking out and are playing at the moment. And also if you'd like to make a video response or comment on the games that I'm playing or let us know the games that you, that, that you've been playing and give your thoughts and opinions on them it would also give the other gamers in the community a chance to have some sort of suggestion as to whether to check out that game or possibly avoid this isn't compulsory it's just for a bit of fun and for this monthly episode I've been checking out four games from the past well the first game in the list that I've been checking out so far this month is this one and this is Super Mario Land 2 the six golden coins which was released in 1992 on the Game Boy and is also a game that I've just recently acquired. Now I've always wanted to play this game and check this one out because the first one, the original, I found to be extremely addictive and it's definitely one of those types of games that you can play over and over again. Now I love to play my Game Boy games but I always check them out now on the Super Game Boy adapter for the Super Nintendo and that's just what I've been doing for the six golden coins. Well so far what I've seen of the six golden coins is nothing less than impressive and I'm really glad I picked this game up as it blows the original out of the water. I love the fact the game has taken on a matte form and it is very similar to the ideas of Super Mario Bros 3 and Super Mario World. Now there are six zones to work through in this game as Wario for his first ever appearance in a computer game has taken control of Mario's castle and has locked the gates. In order to unlock them Mario needs to conquer each zone to receive the golden coins. Now I've managed to receive two golden coins so far and I'm looking forward to venturing on. This game has some excellent features including a ton of power ups from magic bunny ears to a spacesuit, and of course those dazzling fireballs to keep your enemies at bay. The cartridge also has one extra great feature which includes a battery pack so you can save your progress of the game at any time. The Six Golden Coins has quickly become one of my favourite Game Boy games ever and certainly comes well recommended by me. Well the next game that I'm checking out this month, or actually more like returning to, is this one. And this is Galleon on the Xbox. I think it was released on several other consoles such as the GameCube and the PS2, but I always had the Xbox version. And in my opinion this is a pretty cool and entertaining third person adventure. But actually is a game that I failed to complete as I remember it had uh, some quite hard and challenging puzzles which require a lot of trial and error and it's been about time that I finally returned to this game and tried to complete it. Although we have never met, your reputation... Well it's been a while, actually more like four years since I've touched this game but I've never forgotten about it and it's possibly not for everyone's taste but it was created by the makers of Tomb Raider and has some similar features in terms of the adventure side, puzzles and of course there is lots of mystery and an evil side to it as well. You take control of Rama who is a swashbuckling buccaneer and a very skilled man in martial arts. Your adventure with him will take you on an epic quest to find a mysterious hidden ship which contains incredible powers. But before reaching your goal, there is plenty of action in terms of fighting enemies with superhuman powers, six different islands to explore, which have all of epic scale and great detail, and tons of challenging puzzles as well, some of which have had me stumped in the past. The beginning of the game is rather slow, but this is mainly due to the training exercise. If you're into puzzles and adventures, this could be one to definitely to check out. Well the third game that I'm playing this month is all thanks to the game that I released at number 45 in my top 50 video games list countdown and that was The Streets of Rage which gave me the urge to play another beat em up side scrolling hack and slash sort of game on the Mega Drive or the Genesis and that is the classic game of Golden Axe and here it is on my Mega Game 6 cartridge for the Mega Drive. Uh, but it's an excellent game. The arcade version of the game is just stunning and that's exactly what I've been playing in the mode on this game and I've been trying to complete it for the last two or three days. Well, let's check it out. 
Well, I've always been a fan of Golden Axe, and I just about remember seeing it in the arcades all those years back in 1989, and I've just been trying to complete the game over the last couple of days, which I'm somewhat rusty at at the moment. This classic side-scrolling beat-em-up certainly has some memorable enemies, which are also fairly annoying, but can be dealt with easily, especially with those unforgettable magical spells you can use to cast down upon them, which is an excellent feature within this game. I also love how you can take control of the dragons and use them against your enemies, and how the levels of the game have platforms to jump onto, and where there are places where you can throw your enemies into the water or off the side of a rock face to easily dispose of them. If you were into the Streets of Rage, Double Dragon, or any of those great classic side-scrolling games back then and somehow missed Golden Axe, then this one is for you. It's just as challenging as all the rest, and it's definitely one hell of a great classic. Well, the final game on the list that I'm checking out or tackling this month is actually a game that I received on the 14th from John, otherwise known as Xbox 360 Collections, and that is that copy of Fable on the Xbox. I've had nothing but praise about this game and I haven't had much time to check it out, but what I've seen so far is a lot of fun and I'm really looking forward to enjoying and playing this game further for the rest of the month. Come on. I've only been playing Fable for one week and I've only had the chance to play it for half an hour and what I've seen so far is right up my street and I'm going to have to take some time off to play this game as it looks like something I really shouldn't have missed. Currently I've worked around the town at the beginning where I have searched for the missing bear, beat up a bully and guarded some crates and earned my good deeds for the day, allowing my father to give me some money to buy a present for my sister for her birthday. And to be honest, I was not expecting the scenes after I gave her the present in the field. And now I am really into this game that looks like something that is definitely an instant hit with me. The main character has some great movement and I love the way how he can interact with people and search around. It very much reminds me of the Zelda types of games, but I'm sure it has a very different story and layout. And I can't stress enough how pleased I am about this game Maybe this weekend I'll get to play it some more. So these are the latest video games that I'm currently playing at the moment and they'll definitely keep me busy for the next week or two. And I'll be back next month in mid-April to let you all know the latest games or old games that I've been tapping into once again. If you'd like to make a video response, I'd gladly receive it. And also any comments, that would be fantastic. Let me know what those games that you've been playing lately. Well, take care and I'll be back soon with another video.